it's Maddie. I'm in the magical mystery forest of destiny. The reason for this is that today I'm going to share with you a level 99 wizard spell. The reason I am in the magical mystery forest is this reason. If the Illuminati find out I'm sharing this with you, they'll probably do away with me. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. So seriously though, what I want to tell you today is something that I think is going to be really helpful. Okay. You've probably seen all these gurus online. Okay. You've seen them in all sorts of ads being like, Hey, you can easily make money online if you just do this one thing. And that's like me in some cases. Right. But I've seen some of these guys doing these videos, doing these criminal things, right. Telling you stuff that I know for a fact isn't going to work for you in terms of growing your business, in terms of growing your personal brand, in terms of absolutely crushing it in life. And, that thing is this sales funnels are almost dead. Okay. And I say almost because there's so many people doing them right now using the same strategy, right? Every time someone comes to me like, Hey, can you build me a funnel? I'm like, sure, man, I'll build you a funnel. How are you going to get traffic to that sales funnel? And they're like, uh, I don't know, man, I'll probably just run some Facebook ads. And every time they hear that I die a little bit inside and I'm just like, ah, oh, man, and I'm so honest with them at this point that I'm like, uh, you know what? It's not going to work then. And they're like, well, what do you mean? They're like, we well, just build me a funnel. I'm like, no, nah, dude, I'm not going to take your money. All right. What you need to do is you need to become the attractive character. More importantly, there's one thing that you really need to do. Okay. You need to do something. All right. It's going to take you about 12 to 24, maybe even 36 months in advanced planning. All right. You have to do this one thing. You need to plan yourself what is known as a campaign. Okay. This is a more long-term strategy than simply building a sales funnel. Look, I love sales funnels. Okay. Like it's, it's what I do. It's like, it's my jam. Okay. I've been into them for almost five years at this point right now. And I see it as just such a better option than a website. Having said that, the biggest thing I see people struggle with is getting traffic, getting new visitors, getting new users to visit their sales funnel. I always build people like this weapon of mass uh, destruction, I guess, or more so a weapon of mass conversion. And what ends up happening is that they don't get enough traffic to, so I can't even see if it's successful or not because there's not enough visitors that are to be sent to that funnel to me determine, Hey, like what step in the funnel is broken? Where can we tweak it to actually improve that? Right? How do I fix the hook, the story, the offer in that funnel? And it frustrates me, right? It frustrates me so much when people come to me, they're like, yeah, man, build me a funnel. And I'm like, uh, oh. and maybe in the past I would have just done it. But honestly, now I'm just like, yeah, like if they don't have any kind of personal brand, if they haven't planned stuff out in advance, like I, I really, I don't know. I, I just feel bad. Like I'm not going to take their money because I know that they have to do something else, which is again, planning that campaign. Okay. I used to work at a company and we would plan our campaigns about, I think, 18 to 24 months in advance, right? You would be looking at this massive calendar every single week in front of you, showing you what was happening next week. And as things changed and evolved, you could just go in there, fix little things, and it would just make the campaigns do a lot better long term, right? It's really about thinking that, right? Like, what I would recommend doing is again, starting out with the attractive character, right? Start just recording video, getting better and better and better. And don't sell everything, sell anything right away in your videos. Just getting out there, create the first hundred videos for you to become better. Okay. Don't do it for your audience. The videos later will become for them. All right. But the first few videos you shoot, like the first hundred, they don't even count in my mind. Like the first video, I don't think for anyone counts whatsoever. First video you post and put online, like you're ahead of 99.9% .9 of the other people out there, right? If you look at our society, all people are do is they're stuck in their little phones, like watching video all day, like messing around on some app, just wasting their lives away. But you could be on the other side, right? You could be that person that they're watching and they're learning from, right? And whatever niche that you're in, whatever sort of weird skill that you have, whatever weird products and services that you have to sell, if you can build that long-term campaign, right? Become the attractive character and then consistently show that attractive character throughout your campaigns. By the end of that, people, if they spent that much time with you, they're going to become a customer of yours and a client of yours. It's it's almost guaranteed. But again, you have to plan out those long-term campaigns. I remember one of the reasons I got interested in marketing so much was when I heard the term campaign. And the reason for that is I was a massive nerd growing up. All right. I was a big kind of 
outsider as well at school. Like I didn't really get along with other kids. I was like bullied a lot. I was made fun of, but honestly, I just look at that as it actually made me the person I am today. I'm actually grateful for those things. It's funny. Most people, they'd see themselves as victim if they were bullied, but I see myself as grateful. I see, I think of it as I'm grateful for the fact that people tease me and, you know, kind of pointed out my weaknesses. Cause I'm like, okay, you know, I'm not great at everything, but oh, these things that I am good at, you know, I should probably just focus on those things, right? So one of the games I was introduced to though was Dungeons and Dragons. Like I'm a, I love the Dungeons and Dragons, everything about it. I love like that kind of fantasy realm, but Dungeons and Dragons, I always found that it was such an important thing, right? But there's kind of two people or, or two, when you play Dungeons and Dragons, there's two sides, right? There's the players, but then there's also the dungeon master, okay? But the dungeon master, I think, would lead the whole game itself. And the reason why, things would be so good was because the dungeon masters who made me have the most fun and gave me the most enjoyment they would plan out these campaigns all right and in dungeons and dragons right there's people out there who just plan out campaigns and they get paid a decent amount of money just to come up with a new campaign for dungeons and dragons themselves right and i think like the better the campaign was planned by that dungeon master the more fun it was for me right there i'd be like oh man like this guy gets it like he created this like long-term thing as opposed to just thinking short term beyond like this one battle and this one um initiative that we were going through he would actually you know like think long term with that campaign right right to the end of it right and that's one thing too with your campaigns <clears throat> you need to think long term you need to think with the end in mind all right so that means where let's say you're planning out like a webinar all right and you want to launch a webinar funnel great like again start talking about the stuff you're going to be talking about your webinar on video and just recording that content for free and releasing that on YouTube and Facebook and, and just start pushing that content out there, right? Keep pushing it on Instagram and again, building your followings, right? Because what you can do with that organic following that you build in that kind of micro campaign is that as you build those followers, you can actually send them to, to your webinar absolutely free, right? When that actually launches. And a lot of people make this mistake, right? It's like, I see so many people out there where they just kind of want things to happen for them, but they're not thinking long-term enough, okay? They come to me, it's like, yo, let's build a funnel, right? And again, if they don't have a following, it's probably not gonna work. On the flip side though, when I have people come to me like, yo man, build a funnel, I'm like, uh, like, what's your strategy? They're like, yo, I have like this huge YouTube following, I have like half a million subscribers, I just, I, I don't know like how to put together an offer and I don't know how to put together the web pages and I don't know exactly how to like present that offer to my audience. Is that something you can help with? I'm like, yeah, dude, like we can totally crush it. Like what's, do you have an email list? Like, yeah, it's like this big, but I haven't really done anything with it for a long time. Cool, man, awesome. Like we can warm up your audience and that email list again. We can get them excited about what you're gonna sell them and then sell it to them. And that's essentially how you make money with that campaign. What you can do too, by the way, is you can stack campaigns, right? Like kind of create one campaign, then be like, okay, I created that one, you know, campaign for this offer. Like let's, once that's over, we should pivot into the next campaign, right? So it's like, I always recommend like, sometimes people will be like, oh, what should I do with Facebook Live? And I'll be like, cool, okay, you wanna do Facebook Live? Awesome, and just go live, shoot your first video, get that out of the way, get out of your head and just go out there and shoot that first video. And then they'll go out and they shoot the first one. I'm like, awesome. You're ahead of 99.9% .9 of people already. You created that first video. Awesome. Okay. Now let's just gradually create those videos. Let's have no call to actions for a really long time, right? For like three weeks. Then what we'll do in week four is we'll actually have that call to action, promote the heck out of that, right? Span the audience, make the audience, you know, kind of be like, oh, why are you selling to me a little bit? And then when they're kind of hit the point of them being like, all right, stop selling me, then it's just go back into three weeks of pure content again, right? Sometimes I'll even do that where it's like you do it for you know, six or seven weeks of just pure content, pure value, pure relationship building, and just giving your audience tons and tons of goodwill and just giving them stuff that they see as valuable, right? And really just kind of builds that bond between the two of you. And then again, week seven, at the end of that, it's like, okay, I just wanna let you know, next week, I'm gonna try and sell you something. And then week eight, it's like, boom, I'm selling you, selling you, selling you, selling you. And then again, when you kind of hit that point with the audience is like, all right, dude, stop selling me. It's like, cool, man, you know, absolutely totally appreciate that boom pivot back into lots of content right gary v talks about this right jab 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 right hook it's just so many people they're thinking about that one fight right it's like all right i'm gonna go into the ring and jab 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 right hook bah right in like that one video and it's like okay like that's great but like jab 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 could be three years of pure content and then you know one day or one month of selling to them right it takes i would say Back then, you know, when Gary Vee first came up with that, the jab, 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 right hook concept, 
I would say that you could easily do that, right? It's like you could have 75% of your jabs and then 25% of your hooks and actually ask for the sale. But I think now you need to give a lot more value, right? Now it's like jab, 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 right hook, right? It's like nine jabs you need to give with pure value and content for people. And again, get them to like you a little bit more. And once they like you, then again, now you can go for that ask, right? Go for the jab and go for that knockout and actually go for the sale. So that's really what I recommend doing, right? Like think about it. Think about when you're doing your marketing, think about it as like a Dungeons and Dragons campaign. It's like, okay, cool. Like what's the thing at the end, right? All right, we're going to go into battle. And by the end of the whole campaign, we'll have slayed this dragon. But throughout that whole process, there's going to be kind of these little points throughout that campaign, again, where you're going to get yourself into trouble, where you're going to have to use your critical thinking skills and be like, okay, you know, what happened? Like, how do I make this more entertaining for my people, right? How do I make it more fun for my audience throughout the process? How do I get them as engaged as possible? How do I give them as much free information and content as possible? And then again, once they're kind of in that, you know, buying trance, it's like, okay, now again, just ask for the sale and don't be too pushy. Don't be too salesy and sleazy and slimy. That's not what I'm saying here. Just, you know, asking for the sale because it's like, Hey man, I gave you all this stuff, you know, don't beg them for the sale and be like, please, you owe it to me. It's like, Hey man, I gave you all this content. If you want to buy, like, absolutely fine, man. Like buy, if not totally cool with that as well. I'm going to be recording these videos and giving them to you no matter what, but you know, Essentially, uh, I'm just going to be sorry. I thought I thought the uh, the Illuminati was after me there for a second. I heard some jingling of swords. I mean, maybe it's some sort of orc. But, anyways, hope you get the hope you get the main concept out of today. Right? Instead of building funnels, start thinking about long-term marketing campaigns. And with that said, I want you to like this video. I want you to leave a comment as well. I want you to hit that subscribe button. Maybe not. That's cool too. If you want to hit the notification bell, be notified as soon as the next video drops. That's cool for you, not for me. Don't really mind that too much, to be honest. <laughs> and I'm Maddie. Be blessed and be grateful.